Well, hello friends. It's good to see you. Thanks for stopping by my channel. We are doing readings and I've already pumped out, I think three or four today. We're going to do another one. I'm not sure whose sign this is that we're going to pull next. So let's go ahead and draw at random. Hope you've been well, my friends, and that you're doing a-okay these days. All right. Who do we have next, please? Whoop. What up, Scorpio? This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. Let's go ahead and clear the energy, Scorpio. Take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. All right, Scorpio. Any challenge for Scorpio before we get started here? I'm connecting with a Scorpio that has a serious tension headache. That really just close that the second I close my eyes, I can feel the tension. One of you have an, a headache behind one of your eyes. I just saw a bluebird, not a blue jay, a bluebird with a orange colored chest check out the relevance of a bluebird i just heard the word loud and clear beware beware of what for scorpio then silence okay uh let's go ahead I, this is a very uh evasive energy as always with you scorps so uh, i ask that you remove all of my bias for this reading we're going to start with a oracle card from my egyptian gods deck here this is going to be your overall theme what message is really wanting to come through for scorpio's greatest and highest good sun moon rising venus please use me as a conduit what do we have coming in for scorpio what do they need to know please spirit All right, we have Mahin, the protection card. Did I not just say beware? Why was I being told beware? What does Scorpio need to beware of and why are they being protected heavily? We even have the Scorpionic snake up at the very top of the card, interesting. The number 35 may have relevance, you may be 35 years old. Let's read this out of the book. What is this? Right there. Mahin is a beneficial serpent god, the guardian of the solar Bach of Ra, whose name means he who is coiled. The sacred Mahin shields, shields the god Ra during his journeys on the solar bark, protecting him from the evil serpent of Phosis. His carefully protect, he carefully protects Ra's journey also to allow him to be reborn in every sunrise and defeat death. So Mahin protects Ra, all right? It is envisioned that a time of conflict is on its way to you potentially. You will have to fight, be alert, and maintain your position, but do not fear. Mahin's powerful energy ensures you great protection against external attacks and to come out victorious and relieved. Scorpio, what did I not say? Beware. You already know this is coming in, okay? This is a this is going to be very interesting. What is this uh, that's coming in for Scorpio? If they're not already already aware, what is what is coming in for Scorpio? Please. Thank you. Page of materials. Page of Pentacles. A message. Coming in for Scorpio, please. For their greatest and highest good. What's coming in for Scorpio? What do they need to be aware of? Thank you. The sun, strength, and nine of pentacles. You may be heavily dealing with a Leo here.
This may be regarding your finances, Scorpio. Oh, that flew out. And there we are. Can't make it up. Eight of materials, eight of pentacles. Okay. So Scorpio, I feel like... There's something really here with your stability, with your happiness, with your overall uh, will to push forward through challenges. Because we're looking at the eight and the nine of materials, which is progression here. We're going from the eight to the nine. We have two eights actually. Eight is the number uh, strength card and the eight of materials. So eight, eight is also prevalent. You may have been born in the year 88, 1988. Clarification on this. What is the sun, strength, nine of materials, and eight materials for Scorpio? And why are they being told to beware? I feel like this is what's being protected. You may be uh, involved with a Leo uh, that is really bringing in a lot of stability for you at this time. There's the moon, and we also have the queen of pentacles and the empress. Look at you, Scorpio. Scorpio, the protection is guard your finances and your success because holy shit, Scorpio. Whoo! Nine of materials, eight of materials, uh, queen of coin and the empress. Shit. These are some of the most powerful cards, cards I've had all day, straight up. You're using your intuition with regards to your strength and how you are overcoming obstacles here. Shoot, beware of Scorpio is what I'm hearing. That's, was that what the beware was, spirit? Because we're being told that, that Scorpio is protected. Let's go in for Scorpio, please. Clarify that a little bit more, please. What's this Empress and Queen of Coin? You may be Queen of Wands, the Fool, the Hierophant, Scorpio. Looking mighty fine and mighty attractive going out on new endeavors new adventures new chapters and guess what spirits back in it financially spiritually in the ether spirit is back in it and they're protecting it more importantly Woo! you may have heavy uh Fire in your chart, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. You may have heavy earth in your chart, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. There is heavy divine feminine energy on this board right now. So if you are a cross watcher, you may be dealing with somebody who has these traits or has these signs in their chart. There's something here about the amount of movement you are currently doing, moving away from the past, the Six of Swords and the Hanged Man. This is being cleared out. And what's happening is like now there's a brand new ignition of energy coming in, that Ace of Wands, that uh, very heightened sexual energy as well, might I add, but that's creation. That's a sacral chakra. Uh, yeah, can't make it up. There's a Page of Wands. So it's like that, that heavy artistic ability of yours I feel is a very mysterious trait of yours Scorpio I know a lot of Scorpios that are very artistic and they hide it for whatever reason uh and so I feel like that may be coming in you also may be partnering with a Taurus uh at work who is really going to help you a potential Taurus or Aries at work that are really going to help you kick a new project off okay so let me switch decks where are we at time wise okay um Okay, we're going to switch to my Shaman Dream Oracle deck. What we need to know. I just heard, whoa, Nelly. What are we stopping for? I'm hearing Sweet Surrender by, is that Sarah McLaughlin? Sweet, sweet, sweet surrender. Is that who that is? Is all you have. All right, I'm hearing that song. I'm hearing something about Scorpio is surrendering, Sweet Surrender, or someone is surrendering to Scorpio. 
And now I'm hearing hold the trolley. So I heard, whoa, Nelly, surrender, and now hold the trolley. Hold the trolley. San Francisco, I think of trolleys. Trolleys are, uh, there's also a restaurant here in my hometown called the Trolley um, Seafood and Steak. Um, I don't know, there's something about trolleys here. What does trolley have to do with sweet surrender? Tell me more spirit. Oh, I just got scratching on my forehead right in the middle. Mm -hmm. What is that? Dream thief, refusal of the call. This is lucky number 13th. There may be a Friday the 13th that's significant to this in to this energy right here. That's the protection. Oh, Scorpio. Do you want to know why you're protected? Spirit's telling us. You've got somebody here who truly wants your life or is trying to stop you or steal your dreams from happening. They're not going to win. Spirit's already making sure of that. But there's somebody here. I'm going to clarify this energy because I feel like this is a person. This person's birthday may be on the 13th. The number four may be relevant to them. You may have an argument on Friday the 13th if there's one coming up or if there was one previously. Uh, let me go on my divine feminine energy on this. Who is this dream thief? This is not Scorpio. And that's why I was told to hold this reading because I was getting towards the end there. I just got scratched on my forehead again. Okay. Okay. This is big. Scorpio, who is this dream thief in your life? Thank you. Page of Wands, someone who has more, someone who's immature. Page of Wands is an immature energy that can oftentimes feed off of other people's dreams. That's why they're viewed as being inspirational every now and then. Tell me more. So, Scorpio, this person is really good at alchemizing energies and situations. Almost like a copycat effect. This person uh, could be viewed as um, like a ultimate goody two-shoe. Oh, I just cracked on that. Uh, okay, so what do I mean by that? What's the energy? Give me give me the words on that spirit. The ultimate goody two-shoe. This person goes to church every Sunday or they have a very um, popular, popularized religious practice or belief. They're very devout and open with it. This person is like the perfect person in their job, the perfect person in their family, the perfect person at whatever they do. They're viewed as that. However, there's something here about them being a thief. This person could have very well stolen from you, has considered stealing from you, maybe has stolen from you to get to their dreams to try and copycat yours. I don't know. This is a really fucked up energy. Spirit, what is this? Tell us more. Write them out. Clarity. Ace of Swords. You're about to gain clarity. This person's mask has come off. Or they're about to accidentally have it ripped off in front of you. Ooh. I'm seeing a white mask with claw marks on the front. This person's mask is about to get pulled off against their will. Who is this that's trying to come at Scorpio? Tell me more. I just heard, Rear! cat fight. There you are, Scorpio. Your power is so powerful that all I had to say were the words, rear, cat fight, and boom, you put an end to that fight real quick, didn't you? 
<laughs> they're Scorpio going down their river, taking the souls with them. They even try to mess with whatever this is. <clears throat> oh, on God on that one. Thank you. Scorpio is a bad mamma jamma. Maybe you had one of these types of figures. Remember I said like that perfect so-and-so, the perfect so-and-so. There's something about someone who's false. Or they stole from you. Tell me more. Tell, give us a tea, spirit. Anything else you need to know on this person, this energy? Yeah, this four of swords. You set them in time out. Ooh, they're about to be put in time out from spirit, too. No more celebrations with this person. If this had, if this was a person that you worked with or that was a friend of yours or something like that, Scorpio, um, there are no more good times. Can't make it up. Six of Cups in the reverse. No more past lovey-dovey energy anymore coming into your experience with this person, Scorpio, okay? Not even any communication. I feel like you've cut communication with this person. Eight of Wands in the reverse, Okay. Okay. Anything else on this person spirit or should we move on? I'm hearing that's a wrap on that. That's all that, that I'm supposed to talk about right now. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Well, I want to clear that. I want to clear that energy then. If we're going to do that, final messages for Scorpio's highest and greatest good. Clear this person's energy. Future messages for Scorpio. What's coming in for Scorpio's protected, abundant, beautiful self? Because holy cow, might I add you're fierce, Scorpio. You are literally feared by people. And it's the reason you're literally feared, Scorpio, is because people know you're not joking. And so... Um, I've never met a Scorpio that you didn't know when they were joking. Okay? I'll just leave it there. So what do we got? Coming in for Scorpio, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, galactic mushroom. The divine matrix is at play right now, my friend. The number 24 may be relevant. I highly advise eating mushrooms in your food. If you partake in extracurricular activities, be careful, okay? Mushrooms are very good for you at this time, Scorpio. What's this divine matrix at play? What's this protection? Tell us, what's coming in for Scorpio, please? Final messages. Thank you, spirit. Ancestors, passed on loved ones and spirit guides. Thank you. Dances on one foot, a balancing act. Scorpio, you're doing just fine, all right? I'm seeing um, a real positive, solid person right now with you, Scorpio. And I feel like your energy has finally shoosh, 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 shoosh. And it's in a really good place. I feel like that was not the case even a month or two ago, okay? Your own season, Scorpio season. We're moving into Sagittarius season right now. So there's still that Scorpio season hangover. It really paid off for you, didn't it, Scorpio? It really, really did. There's something also about advising you to dance for exercise. Dance is a very good way to move your entire body. You can do it in the privacy of your own home, wherever you want, okay? What's going on for Scorpio? Anything else additional, please? Final messages, spirit. Anything else for Scorpio? Thank you. Stranger, curiosity. Curiosity never killed the cat, did it? Ask questions or the answer will always be no, my friends. You ever heard that saying? Final messages for Scorpio. Thank you very much. In the hand, the universe is your partner, my friend. Okay? This is a gift. The universe is not only your partner, but they're also your protector. You are protected because of the partnership between you and spirit. Okay? Okay? This card has been popping out pretty much for everybody here. We also have the Sky Dancer as in Surrender. What about that dancing? There's a lot of uh, dancing here. 
Um, Sky Dancer also talks to seeing things from a bigger perspective and understanding why surrender is even needed. Does that make sense? Okay. And bottom of the deck, there you are, Scorps, my scrappy Scorpio. I love this card ending for you. This is such a Scorpio card. Hello to the horned cactus, resourcefulness. Sor Scorpio, you're a hustler. All right. The Scorpios usually have multiple sources of income. So if this is you, if you're not having m multiple sources of income, you're being told to do so. It's time to replenish. It's time to get, uh, you know, a little prickly when need to be and turn out to be so horny. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. That's, he has horns, okay? It's supposed to be funny. Whatever. Yeah. All right. You get the point, Scorpio. I'm leaving it there. If you'd like to go a little bit further on a private one-on-one -on -one reading, all the information will be in the box below. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And if this is where we part ways, my darling Scorpios, I have my love. I hope you have a great rest of the week and I will be back with more readings. Take care.